No keys. Booster stopped. Hello there. Hi. Hello. So this is a Hyundai i10 1.2 Kappa. Just unlock. So I opened up the bottom cover, and uh, these are the ignition wires. So I'm gonna explain uh, how to identify different wires under the ignition barrel. All these wires control the starting of a vehicle so there are a lot of videos that explain how to install a starter button uh, either a toggle switch or a normal push to start but uh, most of them just say which color goes to which one but in my car uh, it's not that simple because I don't have the wiring diagram and uh, I had to find out myself so basically for this you have to open up uh, the bottom part of it uh, it's not very difficult and the most important thing is the multimeter so just set it to volts uh, 20 volts DC and pick a good uh, ground grounding spot uh, mines inside so I'll just show you how to identify the wires it's it's really confusing to see different color wires matching to different ones white goes to black and yellow pink goes to pure black red goes to pure white and this side yellow goes to white and black blue goes to pure red and green goes to green if they had maintained same color code on either ends it would have been easy to understand and made it easy for me to explain also but I'm just uh, showing this part so that it becomes clear for you you can see uh, the key is currently in off position or lock, yeah, which is off. So I'll show you how to identify each one. Just plug it in the bottom and press hard and check the multimeter reading. The first one is zero or very negligible. Now to the second one, you can read 12.85 pink one yeah so that's 12 volts and the third one uh, no value and the fourth one uh, there's no value next the blue fifth one and I, I see reading over there and the last one nope From this we can say that the blue wire and the pink wire that is the black wire in the middle and the solid red wire these both carry 12 volts even in off position so that's a 12 volt constant so now we know that those two wires let's see what the other four are now i'm going to do the same test uh, but when the key is in acc accessories position so let's just check white wires nothing this is constant 12 volts we know that so it will come anywhere the red wire nope uh, yellow no this will of course be 12 and the green wire says 12 in ACC so that means that the green wire gives power to the radio the clock and the other devices so that's the accessories wire it's uh, very clear uh, now we know the green is for accessories the blue and pink are constant 12 volts let's see what the other three are so now i kept the key in on position it says 12.5 volts the red one and the yellow says 12.5 volts 
we know that the green is accessories the pink and blue are constant values let's check the white and there's no response so probably that must be the starter uh, let's just check by cranking the engine check for neutral yeah yeah so only during the crank we can see the 10.5 volts let's check again and you can see that once the engine's cranked uh, it says zero volts that's because the start remote stops I'm not doing any kind of soldering and uh, I bought these online so it's very easy to use the crimping tool this is the tool so all you need is a wire uh, put it in this yeah that fits good and then with the stripper you can see blue so just put it in blue and then all you have to do is press hard and you'll get something like this it's pretty tight so now I have six wires okay this one's upside down yeah. so this is the ignition panel uh, I did a very simple wiring. I didn't use all the switches. So I'll just show you. As we know, there are uh, six wires, um, two being constant 12 volts. So I wanted the power for radio to be separate. So I just gave one 12 volts to one of these toggle switches and the other one uh, to the accessories so so all these wires have nothing to do with this and this just acts like a normal toggle switch for the radio and the clock i'll show you that now we are done with two we have four left so one is the constant 12 volts so that is connected here and only when we switch this on, 12 volts passes from here to here. And this 12 volts is connected to one end of the push start button. The other end obviously to the starter motor. Because only when the 12 volts passes through the push start button and through this wire, the starter motor turns. So this is the basic thing but there is also ignition, fuel pump and all that. So for those we need to connect the other two wires which we were calling as ignition 1 and ignition 2. These two also have given it to bottom 12 volts. So when I switch it on 12 volts will go here and power will go to IG1, IG2 and when I press the engine starts if you try starting the engine without connecting these two it's only going to crank but the, uh, it won't start I just connected the power wire 12 volts constant DC supply to the starter so this is gonna only crank the starter but not uh, switch on the car so yeah uh -huh. in order for this light to work earthing is required that is ground so I'll just mm -hmm. connect this black one here and give this to a proper ground I have a pretty long wire so I'll just uh, give it to the battery negative terminal itself so that's it if you want you can give ignition 1 and ignition 2 to these two switches but in that case 
you would have to switch on this pan, this switch, and two, three, four, and then push. I feel that's a bit too long. And maybe later I'll use one of these ACC2 and ACC3. It's supposed to be three, but it says two for some fog lamps and some LED lights that I'm planning on. But for now, to switch on, it's just that simple. It's uh, very easy to give the connections. I will start with the constant 12 volts. Next, uh, the ACC, which is the blue wire. I'm giving IG1 and IG2 now. So it's, very, it's advisable to give the starter cable in the last. Now let's check. So these are dummy switches. This is for radio. The light comes that means the ground is working. Yes, the car starts. Good. Let's switch off. That simple. These are the tools which I used. All of them are not required, but it's very handy to have them. Most important one is the multimeter, the wire cutter and some wires and this blue and yellow screwdriver set also. So this is the rough template I made for the size, but then if I mount it here, my hand might hit because I'll turn the key, so it's, it's not possible. And there's no space this side. I want it to do here, but then it doesn't fit. Here there's no space to mount it on the back. And I decided to put it on the top. For that I removed everything. But the unfortunate thing is that uh, the start switch is uh, almost 60 mm in depth. And uh, and this blocks it, so I actually cannot mount there. Also, oh, this is 65. With that, maybe you can see that it's gonna be outside. So I really don't know what to do.